Hey, this is Kevin Todd with Colwell Bank of Real Estate. My son and I are going to be taking you on a tour to Goose Creek, South Carolina. We're going to be showing you all the homes that are in, on the market, currently on the market right now, in the price range between two hundred dollars and three hundred thousand. dollars There's only nine of them right now, so this won't be a very long tour. But if you see one of these homes you'd like to see the inside of, please give us a call or send us a text or shoot us an email. We'd be more than happy to meet you and show it to you. If you live out of state, again, give us a call, shoot us an email, text us, however you want to get in touch with us. We'd be more than happy to go over and take a video of the interior of the house and send it to you as well. If we can help you in any way, please contact us. All right, so you ready? Let's go look at some houses. This first house that we're going to is in a neighborhood called Harbor Lake. The address of the house is 23 Lighthouse Drive. It's a three bedroom, two bath house, approximately 1,538 square feet. It's currently listed for $285,000. There's one other house in here at 413 Surf Song Drive. It's listed for 265,000, approximately 1,500 square feet four bedroom, two bath. That one currently has a offer on it, a contract on it right now. There's been 20 houses that have sold in this neighborhood in the last year. Prices ranging anywhere from 175,000 to 290,250. And if you're wondering what school your children would go to, the elementary school would be Goose Creek Primary. The middle school would be Sedgefield Intermediate. And high school would be Goose Creek High School. They could actually walk to Goose Creek High School from this neighborhood. This neighborhood that we're going into now is called Foxboro. The house that we're going to is at 175 Foxboro Road. It's a three bedroom, two bath house, approximately 1,615 square feet. And it's currently listed for $285,000. And there's five other houses in this neighborhood that are currently under contract. Prices in those, on those houses range anywhere from 285,000 to 325,000. There's been 25 homes that have sold in this neighborhood in the past year. Prices ranging from 175,000 up to 310,000. Now there is a nice big lake in this neighborhood. The $310,000 house was on that lake. If you're curious about the schools, your children will go to Westview Elementary School. There's also Westview Middle School and they would go to Goose Creek High School. This is a really big neighborhood. It's right off of Highway 52. 
This neighborhood is centrally located in Goose Creek. It's close to Lowe's, uh, Walmart. There's a lot of good restaurants in the area. Again, this is a pretty big neighborhood, and we just want to show you the other houses in this neighborhood. And if you notice, most of the houses are brick and on a slab. And it looks like everybody takes pretty good care of the yard. This is an older neighborhood. These homes were built in the early 1970s. This neighborhood that we're going to now is called Camelot Village. It's right off of Highway 52. The house we're going to is 118 Clay Street. It's a four bedroom, two bath house, approximately 1,972 square feet. That's listed for $257,975. There's three other houses in the neighborhood under contract right now. Prices range from 308,000 to 380,000. There's been nine homes that have sold in this neighborhood, prices ranging from $250,000 to $350,000. If you're wondering what schools your children would go to, they would go to Westview Elementary School, they would go to Westview Middle School, and they would go to Stratford High School. As you can tell, see in this neighborhood, most of the yards look nice and well kept. This home that we're going to now is in Crowfield Plantation. It's at 125 Cherry Hill Avenue, three bedroom, two bath, approximately 1,790 square feet. And it's currently listed for 289,900. If you're wondering about the schools, the children will go to Westview Elementary, Westview Middle School, and Stratford High School. As you can see, this is a 
nice neighborhood. It's got sidewalks and curb streets. It's a really nice area. And everybody looks like they take really good care of the yards and takes really good care of the houses as well. And Crowfield is a really, really big neighborhood. There's a lot of subsections in this neighborhood. Now, this neighborhood that we're going into now is called Bridge Creek. It is another subsection of Crowfield Plantation. The home that we're going to is at 105 Edgewood Lane. It's approximately 1,772 square feet. It's three bedrooms, two baths. And it's currently listed for $299,000. There's only been four other homes that have sold in this neighborhood in the past year. And those prices range anywhere from 216000 to 328000 In this neighborhood, your children will be going to Westview Elementary School, Westview Middle School, and Stratford High School. As you can see, this looks like a nice neighborhood as well. The streets are curved. And there's, um, we want you to see the view as if you were living here, driving home, what you'd be driving past. I know some of these videos may be a little bit longer than others, but we're just wanting you to see the neighborhoods and how things look in the neighborhood and how the houses look and how people take care of the yards and the houses. This home that we're going to now is in Sedgeville. It's actually in section one. It's right off of Red Bank Road and North Red Extension. This neighborhood was built around 1970. The house we're going to is three Presswick Circle. It's three bedroom, two bath, approximately 1,252 square feet. And it's currently listed for $299,000. There's three other houses on the market in this neighborhood ranging in price from 199999 up to 329000 There has been 40 homes that have sold in this neighborhood in the past year. Prices ranging anywhere from 105000 to 275000 This neighborhood here is close to the Navy base. If you're looking to be close to the Navy base, this neighborhood is really close to the Navy base and also close to North Red Extension. And if you're wondering, your children will be going to Mount Holly Elementary School. They will be going to Sedgefield Intermediate for middle school, and they will be going to Goose Creek High School. If you have any questions, please give us a call or shoot us a text or send us an email. We'd be happy to answer any questions for you. Now the house that we're going to now is in Pine View Acres. It's at 302 Pine View Drive. It's three bedrooms, two baths, approximately 1,600 square feet, and it's currently listed for 295,000. There's been nine other homes that have sold in that neighborhood in the past year. Prices ranging from 170,000 up to 315,000. And if you're wondering what schools your children will go to, they would go to Westview Elementary, they would go to Westview Middle School, and they would go to Goose Creek High School. Now keep in mind, some of these houses may have contracts on them, but by the time you see this video, but at the time of filming, all these that homes are active and all the information is coming from the multiple listing service.
Now, this neighborhood we're going to now is called Boulder Bluff. This is a really, really big neighborhood. As you can see, there's a nice playground here for the children. There's ball fields here. There's a play park where children can go and play. We were going to go up there and film the play park so you could see it, but there were children out there, and we thought maybe the parents might get freaked out a little bit if we were up there filming with their children out there. But it is a nice playground area for the children. Now, this is an older neighborhood. These houses were built around 1969. And the house that we're going to now is 423 Tammy Avenue. It's approximately 975 square feet. It's three bedrooms, one and a half bath. It's currently listed for 210000 We do have two houses here to look at. The next house that we'll be going to is at 303 Ann Street. Now, there's seven houses in this neighborhood that are currently under contract. Prices ranging from $180,000 to $280,000. There have been 62 homes that have sold in this neighborhood in the past year. Now, again, all our information is coming from the MLS. We're not looking at the tax records and things. We're looking at multiple listing services provided to us. What blows my mind is when I started in real estate in 1999, we could have bought these houses in here for $50,000. And I was telling my son, who's to say in 20 years, you be you might be saying, damn, I could have bought a house in there for 200,000, now it's 800,000. As you can see, they're also building some new houses in this neighborhood too. There's still a good bit of vacant land left in here too, to build on. The house we're going to now is at 303 Ann Street. It's a three bedroom, one bath house. It's approximately 900 square feet. It was built around 1976. It's listed for 200000 If you're wondering what school your children will go to, the elementary school is Boulder Bluff, the middle school is Sedgefield, and the high school would be Goose Creek High. Again, this is a really big neighborhood. It's got newer homes in it and older homes. And this neighborhood is located right off of Highway 52. It's a really big neighborhood. It's a great location. It's close to a lot of restaurants and stores. And again, I would like to apologize for the sun shining into the camera. We will definitely be making our videos earlier in the day so we don't have this problem. But if you have any questions or would like to see any of these houses, please give us a call. We'd be more than happy to help you. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day. Well, that didn't take very long. Again, if there's any of these houses that we showed you today that you would like to see, please give us a call. Send us an email, shoot us a text, however you want to get in touch with us. We'd be more than happy to meet you over there and show you the house. If you live out of state and you'd like to see the interior, give us a call. We'd be more than happy to go over there and take a video of it and send it to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or my son. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you very much and have a great day. And I hope you enjoyed the tour.